Okay, so the time has come for us to create a new mailbox policy. And that's because we've already gone through the process of creating new managed default folders and custom folders. We've created content settings. We've done everything but put it together in a policy. So if we go to the organization configuration work center under the mailbox node, here we have managed folder mailbox policies, and there's nothing there. So this is going to be our first policy. So to do that, we'll use the wizard, the new managed folder mailbox policy wizard. And we'll start with a name. Let's just call this one first mailbox policy. Now, in this case, you notice there's not really much we can do here. We give it a name and then we specify the managed folders that we want to link to this policy. If we click add, we recall that we have deleted items too that we created and set up content settings for. We have inbox and we have old faxes. So let's start with deleted items too and we click OK. If we click add, we're going to select inbox and say OK. And then add the old faxes managed custom folder and say OK. So we have everything rolled into one policy and we click new. That's completed. We click finish. And there is our policy. Now if we need to, we can always delete the policy by clicking remove or we can go into the properties of the policy. We can remove items from here if we'd like to change the policy at any time we want. But that's pretty much it. Creating a policy is an easy thing to do once we've gone through the process of creating our instances of managed default folders. If we needed multiple instances, we can create new managed default folders, creating our managed custom folders, and then, of course, most importantly, making sure we have content settings applied. Without content settings, we're really not doing anything by adding those items to our policies. So once we have all of the content settings applied, then we can create a policy that's worth something. But this policy is still worthless because it hasn't been applied to any users. We're going to do that in future lessons. So I hope you found this informative, and we'll see you in the next lesson.